Hello, everybody. It's Gina, and today's Tuesday. What does that mean for the Gina? That means it's WW Day. Said it right. I might have only said it right. Said it right one time ever, but I said it right. Okay, so just a quick overview of. I'm not even going to get into my thoughts right now, but um, if you're used to something like this being your weekly, be used to it no more because it's just one more thing that's gone. It's a piece of paper now. It's a little bit thicker. And everything that was in the weekly before is condensed to one side of one piece of paper. And this is kind of a welcome this time and then after this week it, it's going to be a recipe so it's thicker more like um, not quite as thick as what you would find at a, a recipe card but one whole side will be recipe the other side is your weekly in a recap mode um, they said they took out all the fluff and got to the meat of the topic because people have about this much time. So in respect to that, this is the second time I'm filming this because if you have this much time, I'm gonna get through it in this much time. <laughs> so it says make every day a win. Meet wellness wins. Our exciting new and innovative uh, program that inspires and rewards you to uh, for building happy, for building healthy habits. I've been saying not one word about happy. I'm just making crap up now. So this week in the meeting, what we talked about were, were these new wellness wins that started on Thursday. If you have updated your phone, which my phone is not updated, but my iPad is. So um, if and when you updated your Weight Watcher app, the, you'll notice that the coloring is different and the information that comes through on your, um, if it wasn't nasty and dirty and full of Gina smudges, you could maybe see it. But um, it's a, a definitely more of a dark blue, leaning more toward royal. And then if you come down here in your journey area, it gives you areas there for um, track your dinner. It gives you areas where you can track more in your day to get more wellness points. So currently it's telling me right now that I could track my dinner because I haven't had dinner yet and get more points. And I could track my activity because I don't have my Fitbit on. I took a nap, took my Fitbit off, but it hasn't been synced to my Weight Watcher app yet. So there's two ways for me more today to get more wellness wins. Now, what happens with your well? And there's basically, this is the simple way to say it. Wellness wins tracks your activity points. And um, to... To gain wellness wins, you have a few ways to do it. One is to track. If you track your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you get five wins each time you do it. It does not say that you get uh, in five points if you track snacks. Um, and then uh, track your activity five wins per day. So I'm guessing that you can get activity uh points up to five a day. Um, attend your week, weekly meeting, your wellness, I forget what it's called, workshop, wellness workshop, I couldn't think of the word, uh, and you get 50 wellness wins. So what happens in that instance, there's um, again in your app in here, it, it gives you some, the opportunity to, you push this little arrow right here. And then you come over here and it kind of gives you your day. 
but it says browse rewards and here you can see the rewards that are available and then um, it will tell you your wins that you've created to shop for them um, options that are available now after a certain amount of time of a certain amount of wellness wins that you got kind of works like green stamps remember back in the day if you're if you're my age or older you're gonna remember green stamps but what were they called? S, S and H. S. I was really young, but I remember green stamps. But anyways, you can get Kohl's uh, gift cards even. Now, when I say that, please don't get all excited because it's not gonna. It's not like you're gonna fall into this and make a ton of money just by getting wellness wins. Because remember, you're getting five to track your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and five. Uh, you can get five fitness wins and you can get 50 once a week. So I think she said um, the most you can get in a week is 190. For the very beginning base little thing that you could purchase as the prize, I think she said it started somewhere in the neighborhood of 1500. So it's not like you're going to be, you know, it's not like you're going to go out making money because uh, on this because we have to actually lose weight to get all these points done. You know what I mean? Or actually track. You really don't. It doesn't have anything to do at all. Not at all with your weigh-ins. Not really sure what that means yet. But tracking, activity, and going to your meetings. Not one thing about your weigh-ins. Just throwing that out there. So that was pretty much it for my meeting. We kind of just went over that. And um, that gave us a lot of information. If you have any questions about the app, um, we did have a kind of a training in there uh, today. Um, and you have the opportunity in your area, usually once or twice a month, to go to workshops specifically geared to training you on these things. So that was it for the weekly. Just know that after a while, this little welcome will be recipes. And then this is your information side. That's all there is to it now. Um, for myself, I lost a pound at Weight Watcher. So um, in the past two weeks, kind of amount the amount of time we've been on our challenge, I was down, what was I down the first time? Was it 2.4? And then so 3.4 pounds total in the last two weeks. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I know I get lost last week and then gained some, and we all we all found that we do that. It's just the way it is. So I want to give you a little bit of a quick update on the fact that Carrie is having some internet issues. So I can tell you just so that you're not questioning, it's not that she's quitting. Once she has guests and we told her to quit stressing about it, this is for fun and enjoyment. You have guests in your home, that takes precedence. We know you'll get caught up, and as long as she's getting her videos out, you know, at some point in time, that's all that really matters if she wants to, con and she is continuing to play, it's just taking her a while. So to take all that pressure off of her, I am currently, for now, sharing her progress, um, just so that it can get up and out there. Today, Carrie was our winner. Yes, she was. She lost 0.8. I lost 0.6. I'm not going to tell you what Sandy did, so you'll have to go over to her channel to, to find out if she won me or if I won her. Because she's still posting, uh, you know, early on. But Carrie won today, so she was the biggest loser today. And I hate to, we got to come up with a better term, terminology. And I do not want to hear anyone say the biggest wellness winner. I'm not interested in that. Like at all. Let's not go down that road. But um, something to do with the Battle of the Bulge. I don't know. Anyways, Carrie won today. And as far as my team, you all as a collective group of people, yet again... Um, for the 8th of October, had a total loss of 7.8. And um, there is a lot of people that are in, that I know are playing, but um, I don't have updates for them. 
but I will go with um, there were two people that lost 1.5 pounds yesterday. One of, uh, one of them was Catherine 313 and the other one was Sheila over at Life with Lily. There were two people that lost 0.8, Margaret C. and Margaret McGuire. It must have been the 0.8 with the Margarets and the Carrie. That's a, that's a significant amount also. Um, Teresa Taylor lost 1.2. But our biggest loser of the day was Jenny Proctor, who lost on the 8th 1.6. Kudos to Jenny for losing a pound and a half in one day. And now know that that was for October 8th. Um, so yesterday, October 8th, and you're posting your weight on this on this comment feed for Sept September, not September. Nope. October 9th. Uh, for me, myself, today, um, I had an okay day. I have a little bit of stress in my life at the moment. So if you're a prayer, I'd take a little quick prayer only to cause me to keep my mouth shut and know that someone must have been having a weird off day and not to take it personally. But someone was just I don't I don't I don't really even understand it. Don't really know what happened, but someone kind of had an emotional day. So I'm gonna leave it at that and just say must have been having um, some kind of a day, and we all have them. And I'm going to drop that, but um, and it's just not worth my time to just go crazy over someone who is off the wall. But anyways, um, there was that, and I am home tonight. So here's what we have. Tonight for dinner, now it's my way in, so you know I try to only eat you know, once or twice not not once, not once, but on weigh-in day, I try to eat twice. I will tell you, I ate a little weird today, and I've had a lot of points today. I ate because we had a brand new, and it just opened, and I've been dying for it, and you're just going to have to hear me and know that I did it. And if I pay for it tomorrow, I pay for it. I had a, I tracked it, though. I had a chili dog and a small fry from Wiener Schnitzel <laughs> because it just opened in our town, and I wanted it. And water. I didn't get a soda. I didn't get the chili cheese fry, which is what I really, really wanted. And I could have had just a plain hot dog, probably for less points. I think it was nine points for the chili dog. But um, I wanted it. I ate it. I tracked it. I'm moving on. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to have one of two things. And I'm leaning toward just some roasted chicken and some broccoli because I only have one point left for the day. Um, and I know I'm going to want a cup of coffee, so I'm gonna, I already know I'm going to use some of my weeklies. Um, but if I do that, just know that tomorrow I'm making a pasta meal for dinner, which normally kind of sets me off, and I know that. But what I'm going to do to compensate is I'm going to use half the pasta and half zoodles. So maybe even three-quarter zoodles and a quarter pasta. That might even be better in the whole pot because um, I'm going to use my new Instant Pot. My fear is using, oh, I just don't know what to say about this, using zoodles in an instant pot along with noodles. I'm almost thinking that I should make the whole dish minus the zoodles and at the end when I open it, go ahead, because it's going to be hot and steaming and boiling, go ahead and throw the zoodles in and the residual heat will cook those zoodles through. I think I might do that. Um, but I'm making what we call mom's spaghetti tomorrow, probably tomorrow night for dinner, um, which does not oddly have any spaghetti sauce in it. And it is not an Alfredo pasta, but it is different. I'll just tell you that. And I will tell you that oddly enough, it's made with creamed corn. It has creamed corn in it. It's really all it's just crazy it's a crazy meal maybe I'll show you a picture of it tomorrow if I end up making it I might not and I'm considering making maybe tomorrow or so somewhere in there that um, pumpkin cake mix banana recipe thing that's going around I don't know just have a little snack cake something to snack on um, instead of needing a big bowl of ice cream or something off the wall 
which for a lot of people I know would be like a candy bar or whatever. That's not normally what I go for. A donut, yes, I would lose it. But I'm just saying something a little healthier to have on hand as a snack might be, uh, you know, not so bad of an idea. So those that's what's going on for me in the next couple of days. Tonight I'm going to close this vlog up, get it edited and ready to go and watch my girls over at Edible Mess who have a live stream coming up tonight. And um, so I'm excited about that. It will have already aired this particular live stream when you're watching this, but they do it every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And love those girls over at Edible Mess. I'll link them below. And that's going to kind of be it for me today. I hope you all are doing great and wonderful. You post your weight here um, in the comments below. We'll get you all tracked up and put in the spreadsheet. And I know that you all are having um, really, really good results. I will tell you that um, there are the few that are that gained yesterday. And I, I just really want to say that clearly I did it. Clearly Sandy did it. Carrie has done it. Please, please, please know we all have gains. If it was just a straight shot down, 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 and everybody would be doing this. So I don't want you to feel any type of um, anxiety or stress or worry or anger at yourself if you had a little gain. We all do it. It's life. Just pick back up, do it again tomorrow. Get it back off, and we'll just keep moving forward, and I will catch you tomorrow. Hope you all have a great night. Bye-bye. God bless.